second part of this book, I actually wanted to speak about something that's happening right now all over the world is that we see what is happening to our brothers and we see what is happening to our sisters and we see what is happening to our children and this is why I say our because they are our people the Palestinian people are our people they are from us نَحْنُ مِنْهُمْ وَهُمْ مِنَّا that they are from us and we are from them. That Masjid al-Aqsa, Subhanal ladhi asala bi'abdih, layla min al-Masjid al-Harami ila al-Masjid al-Aqsa, that glory be to Allah, the one who took that messenger of God from Mecca to Jerusalem, and he raised him into heaven and he gave him prayer. That land is ours. And anyone that says otherwise is wrong. That we as believers have a responsibility, no matter which side, no matter what we think about protests, no matter what we think about any of this stuff, it is our job to raise awareness, to bring back the consciousness of every single individual in this world. It is our job. It is our job to remind people that this is not okay. That we need to stop using words like war, conflict, sides, because this is not war, this is not conflicts, this is not sides, but this is genocide, this is ethnic cleansing, this is illegal settlements. Let's be honest for the first time. وَلَن تَرْضَى عَنْكَ الْيَهُودُ وَلَن نَصَارَى حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ This is the Qur'an, that they will never be pleased with you until you follow them 100%. And you use the same exact rhetoric as them and the same exact words as them. No. Have pride in your faith. Stand up for the believers of God. We need to continue to raise awareness. This is not a one day thing. This is not an Instagram thing. This is not a Twitter thing. This is not a Facebook thing. This is not one speech, one khutbah at the masjid. But this is a lifelong effort until those people have what belongs to them, and what belongs to the Muslims returns back to the Muslims. Our priorities should be aligned with the priorities of Rasulullah <clears throat> Other than that, we have no other priorities. Everything else works, life goes on. But we have to live for something greater. And that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would judge each and every single individual by. اللهم أعد المسجد الأقصى إلى رهاب المسلمين اللهم أعد المسجد الأقصى إلى رهاب المسلمين اللهم أعد أرض فلسطين إلى أهله المستحقين يا رب 